changing the linear bearings on the elevation assembly. Use the touchscreen to position the elevation assembly to a middle position in order to allow the removal of the bearings from the linear rails. Once in position, push in an e-stop. Open the side access door to the stroke elevation chamber. The machine's main disconnect switch must have power coming to it and end the on position for the stroke elevation chamber door to unlock. Now, do a proper lockout tagout procedure on the machine's disconnect switch on the main electrical panel. Next, locate the panel or disconnect in the plant that supplies power to the machine and do a proper lockout and tagout procedure on it. This photo is just an example of a disconnect. Push in on the yellow lockout lever on the main air pressure regulator and lock out tag out the lever to prevent pneumatic parts from moving. Save all bolts and pins removed for reuse. Measure from the bottom of the stroke base plate to the machine's floor. Cut two 2x4s and place them under the base plate for support. Note the orientation of the grease fittings before removing the bearings so they will be in the correct position on the install of the new bearings. Warning, only change two bearings at a time. Remove the bolts from the bottom bearing on the right side of the base plate and slide the bearing off the bottom of the linear rail. Remove the bolts from the top bearing on the right side of the base plate and pull the bearing up and slide it off the top of the linear rail. On the new bearings, keep the plastic cover on the new bearings to protect the ball bearings. It will slide off as you slide the new bearings on. Make sure the grease fitting orientations are correct and slide the new bearings onto the linear rail and replace the bolts removed earlier. Now use the same procedure to replace the two bearings on the left side of the base plate. Once all the new bearings are in place and secure, grease them as they must be greased before putting the machine back into use. In the future, grease them regularly as part of your preventive maintenance program. When done, remove the 2x4 supports. Close the side access door. Reverse the lockout tagout procedure from the air regulator and slide the lockout lever in to allow airflow through the system. Reverse the lockout tagout procedure from the electrical panel and turn the disconnect handle on.